right, let me just like start this entire video by just saying that I'm not targeting anyone in particular. I'm just saying this because I get this idea sent to me literally every single time I mention ideas. Whenever I make a wish list video or whenever I make a bad wish list video, I get this exact same comment and every single time they say, this will be an excellent idea. They should add this because of this, 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 yada, 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 yada. And that idea that I get all of the time is, wouldn't it be great if you could make your character a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. Now, this entire video is going to be a little bit of a rant, but also an explanation on why this is literally never going to come to the game. Like, there is zero chance that this feature will ever, ever come to the game. In this video, I'm going to go over some points and explain to you why this is never coming. And this way, I, maybe I can not get these comments every single time I mention ideas because it is starting to drive me mad a little bit because I have to explain to people every single time why it's a bad idea. <laughs> but anyway, we're in Sleepy Town right here today this is a custom server Now, this custom server actually has that mechanic implemented in it now granted you can obviously take it to the extreme and make yourself gigantic and insanely giant or insanely tiny for the sake of the argument we're gonna go into the game like this and basically show a little little small change to the height now what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna show you what it looks like if you increase your height just a little bit so we're gonna hit this thing that says scale up a bit we press that once I am very slightly bigger Look how broken it immediately becomes. This is a very, very tiny fraction of a little bit bigger. Now, you can obviously make the argument of, oh, well, you can just put in the extra work to sort of fix the sprites and stuff like that. Well, why would you do that when it's not necessary? Why would you do that? Why would you put in all of that extra work for something that is just extremely niche and not really worth it, not really required, not really needed as well? If your idea is to change it on the fly, well, this is changing it on the fly, so this is definitely not working. The first thing I can put on this list of reasons why it's not in the game immediately is that it just looks broken. Now, I, I will admit that it's fun and it's goofy and, it, and it's wacky. That's one of the things I love about Sleepy Town is it, it can do basically whatever it wants and it's wacky and fun and, and, and hilarious. I mean, there's literally a car right here that I can jump into and just drive all over the map if I wanted to. It's, it's wacky, and I love that. If you want to play with scaling, if you want to play with making your character bigger or smaller or whatever like that, go to Sleepy Town. Don't go to Pony Town. P Pony Town doesn't need this. <laughs> Sleepy Town already has it. So that's another reason why it's never going to come is because Sleepy Town already has it, and we don't need it. <laughs> it looks horrible. It's funny, but it looks horrible. Now, you may be thinking, okay, but well, what if we make it a little bit smaller? So first off, let me revert back to my original size, like here. Now, what happens if I make it a little bit smaller? Again, it looks really broken, and there's nothing you can really do about that. It just, it's very tiny, and it's small, and it's broken. And I hear what a lot of people want to do with this is to have, like, uh, child characters and more grown-up characters, or just characters in general that just happen to be bigger or taller or whatever like that. If you want, like, a child character, you're gonna have to be, like, even smaller than what I am right now for it to be any noticeable size difference to like the default size so let's let's show that what that would look like we're gonna scale down even more look at that the pixels are even harder to see now because there's even less detail because it's all sort of mushing together it looks horrible and it will always look horrible shrinking your character or increasing the size of the character just we don't need it we don't need it it looks horrible uh this next point here is the fact that it makes no logical sense well, it, it wouldn't make any sense in terms of, like, lore or literally anything else. Like, at least in Ponytown, there, there is a little bit of an explanation for, like, oh, yeah, we have horns, so we can do, like, light magic. Uh, maybe we could do that, and maybe you could use that as an explanation on why some of your characters are smaller at, on the fly or whatever like that. Obviously, uh, you could fix the logical sense of it by just having it be something that you do in the editor itself. But even when you put it in the editor itself, it's gonna look really horrible like look how horrible this looks it's funny but it looks bad so it, and it doesn't make any sense it also doesn't make sense in general because why why do you need this <laughs> why would you ever want this why would you need this it's not a good idea i know some of you are probably going to bring up the fact that if we go to the character editor we can hit some buttons here and uh you know shrink or increase the size of the character oh look at this this character is, is is small now it's like a child or oh look at this it's bigger now it's like an adult or something like that no this is zooming in and zooming out which is different 
that is a completely different thing you're not shrinking the character so in game it wouldn't look you know like this you know shrinking the character wouldn't look like this this is just zooming out so it wouldn't look anything like that it's totally different there are a lot of people that are uh banned a lot every single time they're found they're banned but they do they do creep in they do show up and they, they would absolutely love this. They would love the idea of a very small character because it would look like a child. I don't want to go into more detail on what I'm talking about here. I think you should be able to connect the dots here, but I don't think we should allow those types of people to be able to have chi like child characters like this in, in the game since they're already being banned and kicked out and stuff like that for very good reason they're dangerous and they're they're bad people but that is another reason why that's never gonna happen at least on the terms of like shrinking your character now i imagine maybe you that wouldn't be a reason why you wouldn't be able to increase the size of your character although you could still do the same thing if you could increase the character it's just a bad idea for that that's like one of the biggest reasons why it's a bad idea and it's never gonna come to the game because it just would cater to the wrong audience Let's put it that way. It, it, it catered it catered to the wrong audience more more than it would cater to, to the people that that have been requesting it. Another thing is it makes collision weird, as well as things like clipping through uh, certain objects and stuff. So um, uh, we got we got giant people here. Look look how massive these people are. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, so you got if you make your character you know the right size uh you will be able to have your body clip through things in, in a different way so you would have to find the perfect size and once you find that perfect size you would then have to have every not everyone but you would have to have you know the developers and the testers and people like that go through every single thing possible to see if there's any kind of uh collision issues now that come up because you're smaller and collision issues that come up now because you're bigger or as well as clipping issues things where your body is clipping through things in an awkward way like this look makes no sense like look how far away i am from this right now certain collision doesn't work anymore so there's certain things that i might be able to clip through whereas i wouldn't otherwise be able to clip through and that's gonna look really weird and it's gonna make the game overall look horrible that's my point that's my final point on this is that once you do this you're gonna have lots of clipping lots of collision that you're gonna have to work around and basically solve for for example in the regular opponent town game there are certain lanterns on the uh, rocks and stuff like that if you could if you were a little bit bigger you would be clipping through that in an awkward way like that lantern would be over top of your face and it would make no sense because it is it, it, that's how it's set up. Uh, there used to be a thing a long time ago where if you were flying or something like that, your tail and part of your body would clip through lanterns that were sitting on walls. If you were a little bit bigger, you can see how like your head or something like that would probably still clip through it in an awkward way, which means now you have to change the collision of that object or you have to change how uh, everything else works. And it's just impossible to work around because now you have to account for three different sizes, whereas before you only had to account for one. It's just a nightmare to even begin to think of on how to work around it but there you have it those are uh all the reasons why it's never going to come to the game and you guys can stop requesting it because it's literally never going to come to the game because it, it would look really horrible it makes no sense to add it also makes no logical sense to add it, it breaks the game in multiple different ways because you have to account for multiple different sizes instead of just a regular default size it caters to the wrong audience <laughs> which i don't want to mention more on that but it caters to the wrong audience if you know what i mean and uh yeah that is that is all of that it, it messes with collision and stuff like that as well if i didn't if i didn't say that just now but there you have it if you want something cool in pony town what i would suggest is stuff like hair physics as you can see in sleepy town we got this cool hair physics where it kind of bobs up and down as you walk which is really nice something like that would be a lot better to add although it would be extremely difficult to add to the game because you have to change every single main create an animation for every single main and there's like 30 of them or something like that right now i don't know how many there are but there's like 30 of them so there's an insane amount of main so you would have to make animations for all of them that's why we don't get those kinds of things that's why i don't get animations for like the hair and stuff like that but anyway there you have it uh that is going to do it for this video i do hope that you enjoyed even though it was a little bit of a rant and everything like that but if you did please do like subscribe share and do all of those wonderful things like that because when you do those wonderful things you get access to wonderful content such as this that's right pizza uh and not only do you get access to all of that wonderful content but you also get to become wonderful yourself and i think we all want that 
that pizza. And so do all of those wonderful things. And until next time, stay wonderful. Pizza. I want this pizza.